Yeah, nice job, Spyro. One day you might become a real dragon. What does that mean? I'm a real dragon. Oh, my mistake. I thought you were a lizard. I ought to flame you for that. No, no, no. Just hop aboard the Magic Crafters World if you're ready. Never mind what I have to say. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm drunk. <laughs> anyway. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Let's Play Spyro with a Dragon. I'm your host, Silent Sanders 9 Let's go to Magic Crafters. Woohoo! Or as the Ric Flair would say, Woo! We're ready to do this. Oh, you guys have no idea. I love Magic Crafters World. It is my absolute favorite place. And you all will see why. It's just so, well, maybe you won't, but just know that I really like this place. Woo-wee! Look at all the colors, man. All, it's really vibrant. Very beautiful here. I mean, we came from a really dry sort of desert area, which, I mean, it was fun, especially with all the gliding we had to do there. This place just is amazing. Oh! I see a thief! I see a thief! Get back here, thief! Get back here! Oh, you stoop! I was going to try and get that on the first try. Yeah, so this little butt munch here, he's going to wind up leaving, or he's going to wind up taunting you until you leave the area for a moment, and then he'll come right back down, and he'll be like, okay, want to try again? Uh-huh. You want the egg? You want the egg? A new egg for you. Yeah, well, I got news for you, you stupid thief. Oh, you... Gonna get you, gonna get you, gonna get you, gonna get you good, gonna get you, 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 Yes! All right, got him, you stupid thief. That'll teach you. Taunt me a few times, will you? Oh, that's done. All right, now we can move on with the rest of the level. We cannot actually, in case you're wondering, get up to that point. There's nothing up there. It's just a random platform for the thief to jump up to and be like, haha, can't get me, can't get me. Or as he says, yeah, that annoying taunt. The thing that I use for the counter. Hey, that sound might, that might actually sound familiar to some of you as well. So, uh, Cosmos, what a magical name. Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. That is a tall order to fill, but I reckon I'll give it a shot. I gotta say, I love the appearance of the dragon and the way he sounds. Hey! Out of curiosity, do by chance any of you come in peace? I come in peace? I come in peace? Do you come in peace? How about you? No? Maybe you. Do you come in peace? No? Okay. Do you come in peace? Man, nobody here comes in peace. Y'all mean. A bunch of mean shamans. I think that's what these are called. Ow! Alright, that's it. It's time to die. Uh, that is if I can get my camera to... There we go. Yeah, tilt it to the other side. Charge! Ow, 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 ow! So many owls, so many wins. Yes, in case you haven't been able to tell, Magic Crafters World is, well, full of magic. And... What better character or creature to have for a magic place... Then wizards! You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? You're a wizard, Harry. Or I suppose better, better uh, animated. Um, as uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, like I'm playing anybody. As Josh Jefferson once said, Woo! "Kill the wizard! Kill the wizard!" Yeah. Yeah. There's my little homage to him. If you if you guys have never heard of that little meme. You know, the KILL THE WIZARD meme, you definitely need to go and watch Josh Jepson, or Josh Jepson's blind run of Spyro the Dragon, which he did a really daggum good job clearing through it. I mean, for a blind run, he was, I mean, he's a pretty talented gamer to begin with, but it was just really interesting and very fascinating to see somebody who's played, who had never played this game go through the first time and he knew what he was doing. I'm not saying... Like, nothing against my old hello, because he's doing a good job, too, but somebody who, I don't know. I don't I really can't think of an explanation. I just wanted to give myself a reason to use KILL THE WIZARD at least once. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. You need to die. I'm glad you uh, decided to agree with me. And by, you know, agreeing with me, just keeling over and letting yourself take the watery grave, kick the bucket, as they say. When I say, you just need to die. And I see you over here, you stupid thief. This one likes to go in a circle, if I remember right. Stop it! Being in pain in the butt, dude. You know what? I'm going to flame you. I will flame you! Roasted thief for breakfast, anybody? 
No, how about a lunch? That's what I thought. Delicious thief. A, a nutritious part of this this afternoon lunch. Mmm, baby. Or while we're at it, you know, you can also have a brunch. Wait. Wasn't there a wizard here? Huh. That's weird. I could have sworn there was a wizard this direction. I must be Oh, you know what? I, I bet I know what happened, actually. This happens a few times, and it's funny. I didn't even... I probably didn't even hear it myself. But there was, like, a little pinwheel thing somewhere over here, and I remember flaming it, and apparently when I did that, it the pinwheel itself must have flew over the little hill that came up here, because there was a wizard causing it to go up, and it hit him in the face. Anyway, cool story, bro. I'm just letting you all know that I do realize that that's probably what happened. Hey, guys. Bye. <laughs> yeah. They're... So, most of the wizards here, as you might be able to imagine, they, they tend to do magic tricks, and they're kind of a, a nuisance. We will only see maybe like two, no, three of them, actually. And then uh, we're going to see like a couple more later on. Oh, no, don't go in there yet. I, don't, I mean, it's a fun place, but I want to go to high caves. You may also notice there are like some arrows there. So, Xantor, tell us about these arrows. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go Sweet! Ahead, try it. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, baby, that's going to be a lot of fun. Actually, before I do that, because I know I'll forget if I don't do this, right here where this little snowy patch is, you're going to want to probably glide. I want to say it's right over there. There's a cave, and I think there's something over here. I could be wrong. Yeah, there it is. Okay, then drop here. Wait. Oops. My bad. Okay, we don't have the key, but that's okay. We gotta want it. We gotta spiral up for that. So, just keep that in mind for later, as uh, H.C. Bailey says. Woo! Keep that in mind for later, viewers. Golly, I love, I love just quoting all these different people. I, I know it probably gets on people's nerves when I do that, but a part of it is because it's my way of spreading some love. You know, kind of, sh kind of just spreading out the audience a little bit. And part of it's just because I want to acknowledge that yes, I do realize who they are. That guy had a 25 gem. Dang. You were a rich wizard, man. Gringotts would uh, love to have, or love to see you about maybe making a deposit or two. Just saying. <laughs> Alrighty, Boldar. How you doing, dude? This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. <laughs> Nice save, Sparrow. Very nice save. He was about to go on for an eternity. So, it's kind of a good thing that he stopped there. I mean, yeah, it would have been cool to hear his 35 years of experience, but I'm sure you all probably didn't want to do that. I see what you're doing here, you stupid wizard. I'm going to metal box. I did say I was going to try out that supercharge, too, didn't I? Well, all right, well, I'll do that in a little bit. Charge! Ow. <laughs> Okay, these guys, you gotta be careful, because they will electrocute the crap out of you. Oh! Yeah, well, you were gonna electrocute me, man. What, what choice did I have? You and your nasty rain cloud. He, he looks like he's really just a... He's like a, the depressed wizard of all the wizards here. He's like, I'm constantly angry at the world because he's got a rain cloud above his head. That's just what I picture. That or I picture uh, Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog. That, anybody remember that episode? The one where... Eustace gets cursed, and he ends up having a rain cloud above his head the entire time, until he... I forget what he has to do, he has to do something to make amends for upsetting some kind of gypsy lady or whatever. I actually forgot the name of it. Future Self, would you mind putting the name of the... If not the episode, the name of the character that curses Eustace. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I'm abusing my powers of commanding the future... The, the powers of future editing a little too much here. I should be more responsible, but instead of saving the world, I'm making commentary over video games. Hmm, yes. Question it. Question it hard, ladies and gentlemen. Question yourselves. Because you might not like the picture you see. Hey. 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 Well, if you're going to be that way, die! Ow. Ignoring me. He was probably actually really focused on, like, a particular task he was being given. And I've just been kind of... I'm just mercilessly killing these wizards, like, for no reason. I mean, he was messing with the platform, which he probably shouldn't have. But at the same time, now, now that I think about it, I kind of feel bad. 
Yeah, dang it. Guys, they're most, they must be using their magic on me. I'm feeling bad for wizards here. So, are we going to finally use this supercharge? I mean, come on, man. I mean, I, I know we used it once to get the wizard out of the way that was pulling up the hill, but still. Let's go and get this key here, I guess. And then we'll actually have a reason to use the supercharge again, so that's cool. Awesome. There's a bunch of two gems, too. Hmm, it's not a lot. But every gem matters. I mean, we got to collect all the treasure, as I've said before. Go ahead and climb up this hill here. Now, y'all probably remember a little bit ago, we passed a metal box. It was actually near where that platform was being moved by the wizard. We are going to go straight left and then right, and then we're going to head straight toward the metal box. So, charge away! Oh, yeah! Oh, pfft! Once more with feeling. Oh, yeah, baby! Dun 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 Ready, 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 ready to charge. All I want to do is run through this box. What's all this talk about? Charge! Ready to charge! Okay, I gotta stop trying to parody songs. Alright, so we got 300 treasure. We got two eggs, two thieves in this level. Not just one, but two of them. We've rescued... How many dragons did we rescue? Three. Okay, I should have known that. So, I reckon we need to go ahead and bum ba da bum 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 End the video. <laughs> I just got here and I want to play some more, but I know if I do that, then I'm going to wind up running over time, and then I'm going to split the video down in the middle anyway and have an improper intro and outro. So, instead, I will say thank you all so much for watching. Love you bunches. Please don't let you swap, and I will see you all next time. And where we, uh... What is this called? Alpine Ridge. We're going to go to Alpine Ridge and check this place out. Maybe there will be some more wizards here. You know, more wizards! Kill the wizard! As Josh Epson would say. Should be fun. Should be good times. In the meantime, though, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So, uh, see you next time. Peace.